Awesome. We went to the highest peak in Central America. We went to Lake Atitlan, which was amazing. There's great food, there's awesome coffee, and the most mesmerizing thing that I think we've seen on our entire trip, we hiked Acatenango to look at El Fuego, which is a volcano that's outside of Antigua. I've never seen lava and rocks shot 400 feet into the air, <laughs> especially at night when the lava is all illuminated. But our number one location in Guatemala was the Tikal Ruins. Maybe we're a little biased because that's where Trent proposed to me. Luckily she said yes. <laughs> so if you're looking for somewhere to travel, hypothetically somewhere you could even drive to, Guatemala is definitely some place you should consider. The coolest places in the Northeast. In Maine, there are a ton of small nautical towns like the town of Camden, which was our favorite when we visited it in our van. Maine has such a diverse landscape and during the fall season, the foliage with the leaves is absolutely incredible. And there's just so many different pull-offs where you can camp for the night along the water. And then we were headed towards New Mexico and we went through this cool little town called Bisbee. Yeah. It was raining like crazy, but it's a really fun little town if you're ever in the area, very artsy. Yeah. And then we headed over to the sand dunes, white sand dunes in New Mexico. It was a national monument at the time, but a week after we were there, got promoted to our 62nd National Park, and it so deserves it. Most definitely the number one best place that we've seen a sunset. And uh, we have seen a ton of amazing yeah. sunsets. I see the sunrises, snow doesn't catch a whole lot of mm -hmm. sunrises. But we saw the most amazing Beautiful. sunset at And I don't know Sandy's if the Beach. film, the video actually captures it, but man, it was really, wow. really something, guys. Hi, we are Ben and Leah from Combi Life, and we are driving around the world in this 73 bus. And our favorite place for van life is... France. Some... Really? <laughs> I was gonna say Central America, because it is such a densely, culturally rich land that just has to be explored. France, which I said is, I think, one of the best places for van life. That country is just made for camper vans. Lots of facilities, great places to stay. It was just the easiest place for van life.